What is up, YouTubers? John's here, and welcome back some more. Back with Gone Battle Brawlers. And also, before we uh, begin, also make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And check out my other two channels down in the description below. That is all. Anyways, in the last video, we started off the Aquas Tournament, which we've had some pretty hard battles, not gonna lie. And now we might have another difficult one, because we're going up against Klaus, and I'm using Sirenoid. Huh. That's something I just realized, too. So I could also use Sirenoid's character card in this. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I don't know if that's really Klaus's card, but you know what? We're going to go for it. I also don't have a 400 either, so that's going to be a bit difficult. But I think I'm going to go use Sirenoid for... No, not power. Go normal. And I'm going to land on Klaus's card. Could be a possibility that uh, that could be for Sirenoid. And that could really help me. And I don't really know what his uh, switch cards are. I think one of them might be like, in a, like an actual switch thing. I think that's what I got tricked with before. Well, actually, no, Runo did that this tournament. Aw, oh, shit. Well, I guess I'm staying on this card. Oh no, I'm so helpless here. If it is Siren Knight coming out first, I'm gonna... Ah, shit, I think I'm on the wrong card. Especially now since he's bringing out Siren Knight. There we go. Get him out of here. It's my turn. Uh-uh, no, it's my turn. Uh... Man, now it's kind of hard to choose because he also has Chaos and Aquas. Or Chaos and Pyrus, so... Uh... I mean, you weren't on in the front card last time, so I guess I'll use you. Why not? Ooh. Huh. I actually just realized something. Would it work? Would, would the triple threat work? with this set for ability cards. Because technically Angel and Diablos are part of Pyrus and Chaos. So would that work? I actually don't know. I know the gate card won't work. I've tested that out before, but... Oh, you're using Chaos. Please land on my front card. Oh no, you're going this way. That might be something I might use in the next, uh, battle. No, not on, the, not on that card, no! Well, you're just rude. And... You wouldn't know. I hate rude people. Blam! Okay, only a hundred. That's fine. Plus, if this is Sirenoid's card, then hey. Now I know. Which one is it? Oh, it's a Siege character card. You knew I was bringing in Sirenoid. Well, at least your Siege ain't here either, so... I guess I'm good too. Alrighty, bring 
taking on the Shooting Battle 02. Ah, shit. Thousand. I'll keep it at a thousand. The devil made it to a thousand. Get destroyed! Nice. This will also be the last episode I'm doing in this session as well. I've literally recorded like six. Do whatever you want. Oh, that's your own Cyronoid. Hey, how's it going? Only 85. I don't like that you have Fingle Finger of Fate. Wait, how do you get Fingle Finger of Fate? I thought you just shot it right at me. What the hell? Game cheats. Game cheats. AI's cheat. It's confirmed. Alright, well, at least I have that in hand. You can't even use your middle card. You have that though, okay. Um Time uh time for a turn of fortune. Well I mean it's a that's a pretty funny number, but I mean he threw it right at me, so you know what, I'll probably just go for a double stand after this. Just to be on the safe side, you know. Okay, we're good. Shooting level three. And it's supposed to get to be Aquas in this case. Oh, asshole, I didn't even get one in. Oh no, that's giving it to her. No, no, no. Oh my god. Another close match. Jesus. I hate Fingle Finger Fate. What is with this game and giving the AI Fingle Finger Fate? I hate it. Why is that all over this map? Oh god, I'm putting an end to this. There's only one card on the field. With one Bakugan, I'm ending this now. Oh my god, don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare do this to me. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, it's hard enough to get on the card. And hey, we clear the entire board too, so hey, that works. God, that was a close match. That was a very close match. Alright, who's our last opponent? Dan. Okay. And actually, now I can do my little test thing. Alrighty, so I'm gonna add on this one. The I'm gonna try that out, and then I'm gonna put back on this one, because it's still good against his, uh, Pyrus. I think I got ones that are good against Pyrus. Yeah, that's fine, and that's okay, and that's fine. Okay, and I definitely know who I'm gonna put up front. Dan. We might have been close friends, and definitely good partners in tag team battles. But this is a solos match. We are finally put against each other. Man, I'm definitely gonna need a drink after this. My voice is going. <laughs> also, funny enough, the last uh, fighter in this tournament is probably one of the weakest in this area. Alright, but Diablos is going there. It is an I turn. 
Boom. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I thought I got out. I was like, are you kidding me? You're gonna do this to me on the first turn, dick. Ooh, damage field. Come at me now, bitch. I'm literally in hell. Come on, Dan. Come on. Come and fight me. Oh, you dare come and fight me. Yeah, I mean, I'd say you're almost like halfway to where I am, I guess. Or a little over half. Praise Diablos. Get fucked, Drago. Yeah, you're probably most likely gonna pull out your 400. <gasps> I can use it! Okay, good to know. That actually kinda helps out a lot. Uh, it's only shooting battle. Oh. You're really going out here, aren't you? We really have nothing else, so. You know, I'm just gonna stick with this. Why? You're weak, I'm not. And it's shooting battle. It's how I already caught up to you. This is just unfair that I can also hit his and then get my own at the same time. <laughs> I swear, Angelo and Diablos are broken in this game for being two different types. Especially in the shooting battle. Mm, I see, now what? Okay, so... I guess this one for Angelo. I think we have a better chance. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put Angelo's card here. Alrighty. And at least I know I can use all the uh, back of guns I want for um, for the triple deck. Well, that's handy. I, I didn't know that. If I'd known that, I probably would have done a lot more better in uh, these fights. Well, at least in some cases. I know the middle card would be hard to use. The hell, using a 400 on almost everybody? I mean, that's kind of handy. Mm-hmm. Blue, blue, and blue. Oh my god, again? What's with both Angelo and Diablo? Like, literally, in this tournament, Angelo and Diablo shared a shield, and now they're sharing a damage field. Okay, I want to see what you can do. Dan, you're only asking for more trouble. You only have one other ability card, and I don't think it's going to help you. Your red moth is not going to help you. Dan's literally just giving it to me at this point. I'm good. This is time in battle too, so this is an easy one. Even though it's level 3. It's still the easiest. And he always has a disadvantage. I like how all the other ones were at least have a bit of challenge. Even around the start in the last video, they actually had some challenge to it. But in this case, with Dan, it's just too easy. I feel bad for Dan, he's so underrated. Oh, I'm sorry Dan, but this is the end for you. You're also making my battles way quick, can we 
We still have like half an episode to go after this. I may end this episode early just because of it anyways. I do got a couple other things I have to do. And I did want to get as many as I could and this is pretty much good. Uh, I guess I'll place this one here. That will be for Sirenoid. I guess I'll try to toss you up way up top. In you go. Splash. Hey, yeah, I've been able to record six episodes as well. That's pretty. Fu that's pretty good. That honestly. Oh well, I don't think I can stop you no matter what I do. So uh, once again, Dan, I will skip to you. And if you want to fight me, that's your own problem. So good luck, I'm skipping you again. You are placing down another gate card. Good luck, my friend. Oh. So where is that on the field? Eh, I don't think I'll charge right in. Eh, I mean, eh, just in case, though. I know it's your own card, but I know it could be like one of your Switch cards, too. I'll just tomb you. I'll actually give you a fighting chance. Not because I literally have the rest of my ability cards and you don't. So get fucked. You're fucked either way. Even if you do have your Switch card, it won't do nothing. Oh, it's his character card. Well, you're still fucked. Imagine if, imagine if it was the Switch card. Dan would have been like, Aha! I got you with my trap card! <laughs> you fool! I still have all three of my ability cards! Not to mention, I need one more to win! All three ability cards activate! I summon Exodia! Blue Eyes White Dragon! <laughs> oh man, I'm already 200 ahead. And then add on to this. I'm gonna be 400 ahead. And then add in a 400, I'm going to be 800 ahead. I'm just timing, times in everything by two. Apparently. Oh, shooting battle as well. Let's go. Oh, hey, we get to do this again. This is just unfair to Dan. This is really unfair to him. Yeah, that's just really unfair. It really is. This episode is dedicated to feeling bad for Dan. Because he literally got wrecked on that last battle. Nice. Damn. Dan, get wrecked. I don't know how many back gun points I have now, Jesus. I don't even know what to properly spend them on. The, oh no, I don't like the Subterra battles. In fact, I hate them so much, I'm still sticking with uh, solos. No offense, but uh, Subterra is literally the, my... The Subterra field is my least favorite field. I mean, I don't really don't mind the Subterra Bakugan, but who is my first opponent for this anyways? I'm not going to go into any more battles right now, but we got Coolio to start off. Interesting. I should, shouldn't I? Alrighty, uh, well, obviously, since we're going to Subterra, we're going to need... Subterra Hammer Gorum. We have a lot of tough Subterras here. 
And you're not leveled up at all. So, yeah, I guess... Scorum... I wonder if I should add something else as well, not just this. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, hmm. You know what? Let's go like. Hmm. Yeah. You know what? Let's go for the let's go for the serpentoid one. Yeah, serpentoid. And then let's maybe pick a certain different attribute for this one. Well, let's see, we're going up against Chaos. So that still doesn't really help me completely. So I guess I'll just go with a random Aku Gun. Leonidas. I'm mean, interested in the Brain Leonidas. Even though we can't really do much. Yeah, I mean, I guess, why not? And then we'll switch things around. We obviously gotta have Turn of Fortune. Yeah. But you see, in this case, I could use this. Because, well, I mean, if it was Ventus, Pyrus, or Darkest. Actually, I think the only other ones that are probably good is if it's not Chaos or Subterra. Then that, that would be pretty good. So, instead of that, I guess we'll just kind of use... Not Leonidas's, but let's just use Hammer Gorums. And as for this... Maybe Destroy Item? I think that would be an interesting new uh, concept. Actually, we could still use this. Because I only have Darkest Sense of Terra, and that would still help. So, yeah. Okay, that works. Uh, since I'm doing that one trap card, I gotta do the Switch thing. Yeah, mine's Subterra, so I gotta remember that. Subterra and Chaos, they're still the same. Where is... Oh, it's over here. Okay, so no matter what, Subterra and Chaos will be the same. I, j I guess just to get stronger and have higher points, I guess we'll do that. Uh, let's see if I can find something good for Subterra and Darkus. Yeah, that's pretty much better than, um... Maybe this. I mean, it's a little better. Yeah, screw it, I'll just pick it. And then we're gonna go Hammer Gorum on this one. Uh, which is right here. There we go. Alrighty, so deck complete. I think it'll be an interesting, uh, one. And I think... So we can at least fill in a little more time. I think what I'll do, I'll upgrade... Serpentoid's abilities. Like my Subterra one. I want to check out my Darkest one to see where he's at. Uh, that one's maxed. Saurus. Yeah, okay, we're with you. So, everything's leveled up to the highest peak except for speed and endurance. Okay, good to know. Okay, here we go. So endurance doesn't go up, uh, speed only goes up once. We'll just upgrade them completely. Uh, so defense goes up. Acceleration goes double time. And endurance also goes up once. No, Endurance, okay, no, it's Jump. I almost got that mixed up. <laughs> there we go. And there we go, Serpentoid has all the other good abilities except for G-Power. <laughs> now he's ready for battle. I really wonder if there's any other cards I want. I don't know, because all the gold cards, I don't think there's anything I really want at the moment. I do want to make up some pretty interesting teams eventually, but... I don't know about buying everything all at once here with cards. Plus, sometimes leveling up your own Bakugan and stuff. Maybe I'll buy this one. Uh, maybe bronze cards, those are something as well. 
Beach Chaos and Ventus. So Terra and Aquas. That might be handy for later. Maybe in this tournament. Uh, Bakugan used by the player with the least. Okay. Used by the player with the most gate cards. Gains 100. I just have that, but better. Uh, the player with the least gate cards gets all their ability cards back. Yeah, I mean, if I want, like. Something badly. Player with the least skate cards gets all their ability cards back again. Why isn't there one with the most? To be like, you know, hey, look at me. Uh, use that player with the least skate cards gets 200. Eh, I'll buy it, but I don't think I'm going to use it. I think I have everything else sold out. Uh, red cards, there's really no point in grabbing these ones way at the back. The ones for like 100. In fact, I think that's all. Yeah, that's all the red cards I really have. Okay, middle cards. You're in a battle, 50 for each gate card your opponent has won. No. Uh, during a battle, you battle if your enemy has more chi power. Meh. There's not a lot of good middle cards. I really wish there was a bit more. So all these other like middle cards, but I don't. I'm not really gonna use these guys as like my main characters. Dark Gazer, that's for. Oh, that's for Dual Hydronoi. Hold on. I'll grab that because I actually might use him. Eh. And then there's this one, which I think I got most of the good cards anyways. If your enemy has a higher printed G power, and eh, maybe. Wait, which one is for Subterra? I want to know. Yep. Oh shit! I could do this for like the next battle. I could. Maybe I will. Uh, that's more for Aquas. Okay, so if I'm going up against Chaos, which I am as well. Huh. There's a bunch of different combinations I can do. I didn't even look at everything in here. Uh, let's see. Weak cards, weak cards. Meh. During a battle. I'm interested, but no thank you. During a battle on your gate card. Interesting. Uh, if your enemy has a higher bit of G power, there's these ones as well. Yeah, I don't really think there's any other cards I really want, though. That's the problem. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, Alice. <clears throat> well, with that, I'm gonna end this episode here, and I'm also gonna stop playing for a bit because. I've been literally playing for six episodes in a row now, and my voice is practically gone right now. Like, literally, my throat hurts. I'm gonna need something to drink. And, uh... Yeah, and next one we'll go to the Soterra one and face off against Julio. So, without further ado, I'm gonna end things here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, press like button or subscribe to whatever. And make sure to also check out my two other channels down in the description below. And I'll see you dudes in the next video. See you next time.